The Arboretum is primarily a collection of trees within the landscape, but that encompasses collection trees from all over the world, but it also includes the very magnificent big oak trees and old parkland trees that we have here as well. The collection was started in 1979 when George Howard, later Lord Howard, and the great plantsman and garden designer Jim Russell got together to create an arboretum for Castle Howard in the old parkland area. And so they got together, planned it out, and then started getting the trees together from all over. The arboretum's basically been made from plant hunting expeditions. So they might be going to Sikkim or Sichuan, Bhutan, Chile, they might be going to mountains in Mexico, but the idea is to further science and conservation. John Simmons, who became our honorary curator, I always remember him saying the first time he came here it was just an open field, he didn't think there was any plantings in it until Jim took him through and showed him a wire cage with a tiny seedling in it and he, he just thought this is never ever going to work. Things grew up so well, it's a fantastic area for growing uh, temperate trees in. We went from that to being open to the public in 99-2000 and kind of gone from strength to strength. As we get more people coming through the door and, and need to attract more people, it's important that we get it right and do it in a systematic fashion, hence the need for a master plan. Well, it needs to cover where we put our pathways, how we circulate people around, how we plant and make the place more attractive. But really, it, it, so it covers all the aspects of our development as we go forward. You could come here and you could walk your dog and it's lovely and green and you'll have a, you'll have a wonderful time. With a bit of help from the Arboretum, this whole world of conservation, of plant ecology, is opened up to you. to get them interested and get them in and get them realising that what they're looking at is not only a beautifully landscaped area with fantastic trees, but the trees are actually of serious scientific importance to have the whole package together and, uh, and making people aware of that. That's the main thing, making people, people aware that, that we are here and this is what we are. Here you've got the amazing spectrum of trees all lined up against each other. You can see all these different shapes of trees, that kind of range of colours and textures all playing against each other and it's a work of art.